All right, well, let's get to the second story this evening. Z Entertainment ended the day close to 3% in the green after Invesco sold 5.5% stake of its over 10% stake in Z via a block deal. A lock-in on further sales um, and optimism over the merger with Sony fueled a rally in the stock. Nimesha is here with the details on this. He's one of the big gainers in today's trade, and not surprising. You know, the couple of reasons why the stock is doing good today. One, uh, the blo entire block of 5.5% from Invesco uh, happened in a block window, so it, it, there was absolutely no slippage in the block. I still don't have the color on the book, which means I, I mean there, there are not enough details on who the buyers are, and that will be the next next important thing to watch out for. Maybe the disclosure will come today evening, so that's something to watch out. The other reason why the stock is doing well today is the fact that now there is a 180 days of lockup for Invesco. See, Invesco was holding 10.5% and 10.1.5% uh, uh, and they were sold 5.5. So they left with 5%, but this 5% can only come now after six months. So there could be no further supply. And in the six months, there is a very high possibility that, uh, that the new entity will get listed on the exchanges. Post that, uh, any which way the Invesco stake will further slow, go down because the equity base is going up. So, you know, there is now no, no further supply coming in uh, from Invesco, at least for the next six months. And the fact that the, the block happened in the block window is leading to a big surge uh, in, in Z Entertainment today. As I said, uh, the disclosure in terms of buyers will be important. I don't have a color yet. But the, uh, two big reasons why the stock is up today. One, it happened in a block window, the fact that now there is a lockup for 180 days for Invesco. Okay, all right, Namesh, thanks very much for getting us that big story. Well, let's move on to the third story that we're tracking then. TVS Motors powered up to a new 52-week high after it rallied 4% as brokerages turned bullish on the company's volume performance and its leadership in electric vehicles. Sonia Shinoy is here with the details on why the stock went up in today's trading session. Well, thanks a lot for that. So TVS Motors hit a fresh high today. The stock, in fact, is the strongest auto stock. It's up 74% in 2022, um, while the Nifty Auto Index is up just about 14% this year. So there's a clear outperformance that we've seen. Now, TVS Motor is the only two-wheeler maker to substantially expand its presence in all high-growth categories over the past decade, and hence the outperformance in the stock. So we decided to do a deep dive and take a look at the market share gains that TVS has seen over the last eight years in several categories. Let's start with the premium motorcycle segment, the 150 to 250cc segment. TVS Motors market share has risen from just 12.3% way back in FY15 all the way to almost 26% in FY22. Now, this market share gain in the premium motorcycle segment was led by a very strong performance by the Apache brand. And TVS last year also launched the Apache RTR 160, which has seen a great response. Let's move on now to the scooter segment where they're not too far behind in terms of gains. Way back in FY15, they had just 15.2% market share and now it's uh, at 20% due to the success of two of their brands, the TVS Jupiter and the NTOC. Of course, they've gained quite a bit of ground in uh, the electric vehicle space and in the export market as well. So let's take a look at the export market motorcycle share. Now that was just 13% of the industry exports came from TVS Motor way back in FY15. That has gone up all the way to 25.1%. And, uh, you know, that just goes to show that, you know, the margins are higher in the export market and hence realizations for TVS has picked up as well. And that has helped with the overall um, margin picture coming in at 9 to 10% plus. But how are the valuations stacked up, you would ask? It's not too expensive compared to its five-year average. So TVS Motor currently trades at about 29.4 times FY24 and the last five-year average is 28 times and hence perhaps the stock is continue to gain, uh, continues to gain ground. Back to you. Okay, all right, Sonia, thanks very much for that. That's on TVS Motors. But let's shift focus to the mid-cap IT space. l &T Tech came out with its second quarter numbers and it beat expectations on all counts. Profits came in 3% higher at a little over 282 odd crores versus 274 crores in the previous quarter. Rupee revenue surged 6.5% while the dollar revenue also came in 3.2% higher than the previous quarter. The company also declared a dividend of 15 rupees a share. All right, time for a break now, but stay tuned. We'll be back in a jiffy with all of the other top stories we're tracking this evening.